What's going on guys? Me Phone here. Welcome to another Stanley Cup Playoffs. This is day two for the second doubleheader of tonight's game. First matchup we have is Carolina Hurricanes and New York Rangers. Now this is it. The Rangers are having a terrible time. They may be saying they could be out next. But they have some time if they wanted to try to pick, take back with the win and try to leave it out with the Hurricanes with a loss. If they win, then they will advance to game number five. If they don't win and the Hurricanes win at all, then the Rangers are eliminated in the second round. And now standing by, we have his son of beast along with Test Tube and in the center ice, we have his nickel. I'll be back with the post game show right after this of the third period. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy your first double better game of the night of Rangers in the Kings. Hello everyone, Son of Beast here along with Test Tube and Nickel. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Win or go home for New York Rangers and we're about to get started at the Garden. The puck is dropped and we are underway. The courtesy lineup and team here as follows. We have his Tyron Senko. From the outside we have his Adam Fox. Then for the right angle we have his Mika Zibanejad. Then across the line of the angle we have his Chris Kreider. And finally on the other hand of the side we have across here is, is Lindgren. The starting goaltender for the New York Rangers is Igor Sesterkin. On the other side we have his Svechikov. He will take the puck and try to hold a whistle and bounding with just under a minute to play in the first period to start off for the opening faceoff. Now they're ready to take on the attacking right towards the side of the of the Hurricane and the Ranger territory. Zibanejad wins the faceoff. And right over on the other side we have his Mike, we have his Burns. From the back side, we have a cross here. And a save me comes out by Anderson. Jarvis has the puck here. He's right in the middle. And Sebastian Ago and Jacob Slavin. And right now, Frederick Anderson is the starting goaltender for game number four. Now, I know what those two are. Frederick Anderson is putting up a great save after he went in game seven against the New York Islanders. They've already been winning it right from here. With that tough releasement, they've already been a great uh, battling bound to take down anyone. But this part of it, as you know, Frederick Anderson may have a next move to try to pull it up with another huge save. Because of this one, they're wanting to get that done. He fires it around the net. Pass over to Fox, now over again to Tarasenko. Now Karkovany will have that puck inbounding. Rebound again here, and it's stopped made by the circuit, and it goes right toward the net to the wall. Lindgren will try to hold it up with the, with the rebounding puck. Passes to Fox. Now back to over to Kreider. Kreider taking his own move. Moving around to Karkemeny. Fox delivers it with another rebounding take. Kreider over again to Lindgren. Lindgren right towards the corner of the wall. Lindgren takes it over. Now with the pass. Nekas takes it over. Back over again to rebound is Vincent Trocek. Senko, right over again to Adam Fox. Fox, right toward the middle, will try to fire it out. Man on defender, and Burns will take it from here. Now Burns, deep pass to Stahl. Stahl with a one-on-one -on -one fast break. Shot and released with the save by Igor Shosturkin. Igor Shosturkin, really a great goaltender tonight. But they really say that he is the best. But sometimes, however, they really are trying to make him clear out of here for the end of a regular season. But it's not that really the case that they wanted to do it for him for fun. They wanted to make sure that everyone keeps it right towards it. And the right rebounding puck, they really say, they got the truth. With the rebounding and take, here now we've got another face off. Here's Kako, he will deliver it over on the other side. Passes to Lafreniere. Loving here, and the puck gets kicked over with the pad. Martin Hook over to Skeggy. Here's the Hurricane zone, and now they will take their time to do it on their offense zone. Beetle gives it over to Lafreniere. Battle for the take on the board to board blue line. 
Martin head right toward the middle of the shot. And it's club safe here by Shostoke. Good trapping inbounding, and right now he will pull the inbound with only 14, 14 to go. Still a lot of time left for this period. No score remains for Carolina and New York. Now with the win, Trubel continues. They try to, try to whip it across. Watch out with that. Yeah, he's almost going to wipe it. Because if he almost made that slash, that would have been badly aged well for Sebastian Ajo. And the referee would have called him a slash call. That would be almost too bad to maintain it up the run. Still a lot of time left to remain in this first period. Now here's Goodrow and he will take the win. Pass over to Moli. Scooping it inside out, right in front, round the round defender. That paid off with the pad save. Fetcher call right over to Abo. Keeps it right towards inside. With the shot save again on the other side of a goaltender. Just doing a lot much work for you, Ron. And just like the last game, they keep it going. So Sturkin has that one here with a cool move with this one. It's all they call it for a butterfly effect. When he has that puck right toward it, the other players are on their offense, and while he's remaining on defense, he can try to keep that puck right towards it with a wild save of his run. Let's hope that Igor Sturkin keeps that one for good and for all bound of saving inbounding. That will be a top one to make a release. Schneider right around the net. Gives it over to Morty. Morty right over the, right over the middle. Recovering the puck is to Han. Carolina now making their way on the attack. Right towards the middle slot. That a good step hat save here by Shesterkin. He's very like, trying to like keep that butterfly effect there going. They're really saying it, that this was a very tough make out to play it over with the, the offense and the run. They never seen what was going on. Because of that, they got to get this thing right on the money line. Anderson's going to hold the puck here with only 11.22 to go in the first period. Still a lot of time left to go. Once again, still school, no score for the beach two teams in the play of, the, of game four. Stepan getting a little bit bumped over. Lindgren will try to keep it out. Lindgren fires it around the net. Rebounding it again is Slavin. Slavin kicks the puck, but it's stopped. Throw check shot. Stop with a huge save here by Anderson. Burns on the other way. Trying to make a move right around the two banded players. Looking for room. And block the shot. Kane's got a puck here with a rebound taken. Carolina back the other way with Stahl. Stahl moving around the player on offense. Goes right over to Fats. Fast shot. Stop again. Marner rebound sticks and scores. That will be his first rebound and seventh goal in the playoffs for Martin up. You could tell the easy making of Martin have got a great rebounding. He had that right timing. He was right up towards the goaltender, and then what he does was he was going right around it. With a round of a, with a moving right towards on the right right side of it, he had that one right across the net and got a good goal. Lafaniere right towards the wing over this heedle heedle shot that gets the flack it and it hits off the goal goaltender goaltender release. Score! Feel it, heedle ties the game. That will give, give it a good start for the game four in the first period. It's clear now that Filipino was making a great release bit. Just got a great score to release that with a cannon to put it up right toward in it. That is a tough one, and you can definitely just say that he is moving it right away. Got a good eyes into the contact. Couple Cocker with the puck. It's blocked up. And Cup Kemeny right back to Lafayette. Shot saved me by Anderson. Sketchy back over again to Pats. Pass over again to Taravine. Now here in the other hand is Cut Kemeny. Kemeny right towards in the right wing. Swinging around the Pats. Fires it. Saved me by Andrew, by Igor Zestirkin. Tarasenko right towards the puck and now he will give it over on the other side. Tarasenko lost the puck. Now give it over to Kakademi. 
Caught could have been right in towards now into Teravainen. Teravainen gets a loss of a shot and then will send it up into the netting for a rebound and ready for the faceoff. Ajo's got a fruit eye ability to try to take over this one. The moment it realizes when he gets up and right across from the alley, he looks at an open pass and gives that one a nice shot. Patrick Kane on the other side gives that off with the puck on the string loose. He's putting up a nice uh, uh, defender on the run. When he gives that one a good trick on the move, he can try to keep it right from here. These are the two I really would like to see how well they keep it going. This might be another complicated run for Sebastian Ago and Patrick Kane right towards the releasement and tore back on the other side. I'll be keeping an eye on them. Back to you guys. Pass back to Jarvis. Jarvis over it again. Shot save B by Igor Shostokin. Gives it over to Tyron Senko. New York Rangers are back in the Kings territory. Fire it away. That's off the glove here by Anderson. Simon, who crosses a group here now with a with a man-to-man -man zone. Pumps it up right toward the wall. Mikolas got the puck here right for the corner in the Rangers territory. Snyder giving it over to Kreider. Kreider goes down. Pass gives it over to, to Slavin. On a fast break, gives it to Jarvis. Back to Slavin. Shot save me by Sisterkin. So Sterkin really was making out with a great save. You can't just say that, oh, this guy's not good. Let me bring out one in here. Well, it's not a very uh, about a bit complicated run because they were really are starting to get right over it. Puck is out of, out of play, and right now it's up in the netting. We all pay respect. Fox delivers it with another zone. He receives a tape-to-tape -tape feed with that one to pick up with his own opening offense score in this run. Gives a good pass to in between the, the action of the, and the impact. This one keeps it up here for the good and the baddest. I'll be keeping an eye on here to just right around the corner. So Sturkin's going to deliver up for the save. Right now we're only 4.50 to go in the first period. Goodrow wins the faceoff. Now he will dish it over to Fox. Back to Modi. Modi's choosing it over right around it again. To take the shot. That stopped again with a wild save and it went out of reach. Here's Mark Stahl. He will give it over. And Slavin giving it back over to Fox. Fast stop again by Modi. Here's Modi. He will take it over from here. Try to make the arch. Can't just make the play connection work. Martin up right over back the other way. Now going over into their side of the side of the rink. He fires it. That saved it up again by Igor Shosturkin. Fox over again right towards the wing. The puck is reached out. Stahl takes it over. Now he will try to take it over with the offensive run. And now with a pat and saved by Modi. Here's Otani Panarin right towards the, uh, the other side of the wing. And Fast trying to take the puck. Try to look over with the run. Fast gives it over to Slavin. Deep pass to Shotzi. Shotzi rolling over with a big stop. Miller with the rebound. Now passes over to Kane. Kane passes to Panarin. Panarin shot. That goes off the target. That inbounding could be a little bit of deflection out there because the defender got him. Because he was releasing it, that was a very tough one to make that stop. It may not be that, really that tough, but don't be angelic of it, because they really are trying to keep it over with the odd bit rush to go with the other part of the attacker zone. Here's Shatsy back into the offensive territory for the, for the Canes, and to Sturkin, good catch! He's going to hop here for the whistle for only a minute and 13 to go, nearing the end of the first period. With your total uh, scores for the, for the NHL Draft Lottery for 2023, we'll have an announcement once the first period is over. Dion! Oh man, now Igor Shosturkin just showed up in big time. Yeah, you, you never really noticed what it was going to come out like that, because Dion was bound to be out. They're really over right now. 
Here's Scott a spear right towards around the net. Gives a pass to Scott Cunningham. 30 seconds for the first period. Moving around inside. Gives a pass. Shot saved by the circuit. 20.9 seconds in the first period. Nearing it down the wire the edge. Now they're ready to do another face-off before the period comes down to an end. It's a tie game. Rangers are looking for a win here to stop the arc and put it right back to where they came from. Battling for the loose spot. Here's Miller right around the net. Lob in the air on the other side and we'll end it here. And that will end the first period. Filipino giving that one a great stop run to get a score time. It's 1-1. Be right back after this. Hey guys, just a quick announcement here. Right now, the NHL 24 matchup is currently underway. We still have a lot of days to go, but if you're looking to get some comment down below, leave your thoughts here, which the next team will be facing against. You leave it off with your next team, who will be, be facing against each other, and into the next arena. Back home for, for in between the Carolina Hurricanes, or back home for, or away for New York Rangers, and on the other side of it, as you might be seeing, a great matchups in between. This might be the best one that nobody has ever seen, just like how they did. So leave your thoughts down in the comments below. It will be the next one that will be happening for next season here in NHL 24 for the start of a 2023-24 run here for the next part of the matchup. And as we're being said right now, here are your courtesy draft lottery winners and congratulations to one of the biggest, the biggest, and the best. Chicago Blackhawks, you have made a great successful to make that lottery pick and you will be heading in for the start of the NHL Draft of 2023. This has been exciting. Most of you all just say that Patrick Kane is gone, but they might be replacing a new player to keep it on and going. Well, we never know what's going to be because they say Chicago Blackhawks will try to give that one a first pick. In second place, it was Anaheim Ducks that receiving a second draft pick. And third, Columbus Blue Jackets for the third draft pick. Our teams that will be underneath 4 through 16 will be the last one to keep right into the first round of the NHL draft to keep it right towards in the net. This round can be a little bit tough on this challenging run, but enjoy yourselves as you can for your team to make the memory of more successful to your career. And last but not least, the deals is returning, except it might be changing again once more. It, it will be happening on May 15th, and rescheduled here time is May 31st. If, if it's changed and it's delayed due to the uh, part of the playoffs inbounding for the Stanley Cup playoffs and the NBA playoffs, we might be finding out what will happen here if they're going to get that one countable run. Well, as we're being right now being said, thanks for tuning in with us for the announcement. Let's get back into the game. Back to you, Son of Beast. Welcome back to the Stanley Cup playoffs at the Garden. We're about to start the second period for game four. As of right now, let's have a recap look. As of right now, Test Tube stands along here with the first period statistics. They're very uh, much in tactic how they're really are trying to like go with the angle of their floater. They really are starting to like pick him up with a lot of speed rotation. They're making it possible enough to try to like keep the players from one side to another, but sometimes they really are starting to like go with the battle take to take one. With Martin Oakman making a rebound with the puck, he made that one quickly and earlier to have maintained. And that one on the other end, Philip Hedl made that one a good goal. He got that shot right away. The inbounding is a take full awake to make that one count. They really are starting to pull it up with a lot of face-offs, and they are pulling it right away. Fog shot that's stopped here by Frederick Anderson. Now here's the Benajad. He will give it back over, back into the Canes territory. Burns gives it over to Kennedy. Now Nekis is on the attack right now on the Rangers side. Turn in. That goes through the legs, and it was right up to the wall. Kreider off to Fox. Gives it on to Kreider over again to Terrence Senko. 
Garansenko right towards the right wheel, left wing, right toward in the middle is Zibanejad. Zibanejad trying to go with that hot move, and that one comes up with an early release save for Frederick Anderson. Still lots of time left in this period frame. The score is still tied, looking for a next goal to take the lead. Miller has one. Gets bubbled down after a, after a save pad by Anderson and go right toward the board. Jacob Slavin right towards the middle. Now he will take his own time in the left wing. Kane gives it off to Panarin. Across the line, he goes right from scrimmage. Right for near the goalie. Anderson got a good diving releasing save moment. And right now, with just only 17.04 remaining in the second period. They still got a lot of time right now, as right at this instant, they're just keeping it going. Yeah, they do. But sometimes they're not really like trying to like pull enough uh, strength energy if they were really trying to consume it. Other players are just trying to get around them. They didn't really uh, stand a shot. They were really uh, starting to go over it, and by that time when it gets done, it can be a very powerful way to try to like save the day. But it's not going to help out. If you're going to get a pass and get a shot, find somebody else. They can definitely help you to try to like keep it unbounding. Kane right towards the right wing. Love saved by Anderson. He's going to hold the puck here with only 16 or 3 to go. Now for the next one of the period in the face-off position. Still tied up, looking for our next goal to take the lead. Puck resumes. That's right now. mikola has got it. That's stopped again by the goaltender. Kane right toward the right wing. In the middle. Takes it over for Martin. New York Rangers have a puck now. Back to Schneider. Now gives it over to Trocek. Right towards the middle. Looking over it. And a pat saved by Anderson with the right knee. Swing it over to Martin. And now Carolina will take one. Trocek back to Snyder. Slap shot it. Oh man, that was very tight. Very went up and over the range and out of right by the side of the net. Martin up over it again to Skeggy. Stall with it now into the left wing. Passes to Kozen. Shot rebounded it. Stall right off target wide, right behind the net. Out of the cage is Snyder. Gets it, gets a pass over to Panarin. That puck is out of zone, and there is nowhere else to find a man opener. They can't lose that. They're just doing it too much. And he scores! Derek Stepan, 10 goals in his game for the playoff moment. He now leads his team back up by one. And you know that Derek Stepan was really like playing a bounding. Just like he did. Every other player does. Hit the pad right around him, and then put a goal. That's what they were doing. They really are trying to step it up again. They just really can't believe it with what they're going to do now. And he scores! Two in a row for Derek Stepan. Oh man, I think Derek Stepan's going to say, Son, Rangers team, it's what everyone does. We all play great, but it comes down to the end as the road, the game ends here. Right now, 3-1 over New York Rangers. But they're not done yet because they still have a lot of time left before the end of the second period before heading on to the third. Here's Kako, right around the goaltender. And a save comes up by Anderson. Goddesphere right over again to Stepan. Stepan again to Nozin. Here's Nozin, he will fire it out. Lindgren covering it along the way. Stepan going for three and not for three goals here with the hat trick. That saved me up by Igor. That club save goes the other way to Frederick Anderson. Shot's name right towards the inbounding to Nekis. Trying to take a deliberation to the floor. Third inning. Sir Sturkin save with only 12 12 to go in the second. Now keep your eyes up there. That focusing can be a lot that challenging. We're nearing close down, but we haven't made, made the midway mark of a period. Carolina leads up by two over the New York Rangers. Kalkinami wins the face off back to Burns. Burns gives it to Dekas. Makes it move around. That's stopped again by Igor Shesterkin. Terrence Sanko trying to battle it out. And Sabanajad will try to clear it out. 
Now here comes the Mika Zibanejad, right toward the wing. Moving around it, and he didn't have the right moment to do the puck movement. That puck handling is a very tough way to end. And, and puck on the string, just like Patrick Kane, they just don't want that to be out of here. They've got to get some a little, uh, little focus on the, the puck on the string and try to move it around. That's what the hard part is. You don't want to lose that one in there. Right now, the teams are set, ready to take the faceoff in the offensive wing. Aho wins the faceoff. Burns gets punched out here by, by Goodrow. Here's Kreider. Back to Tarasenko. Rebound it. That sticked it off by Jacob Slavin. Tarasenko poked it out. He moves it in front. That's a stop save here by Frederick Anderson. And stretch a call right towards Aho. Battling for the loose puck, wins for the New York Rangers. Puck leaves the zone as right now the Rangers will make new changes to the offense run. Zibanejad right towards the right wing, past the counter shot! That's stopped by Anderson. We're passing the midway mark of the period. Three and one, still the score to beat. Now they're ready to do their face off here in the Canes territory. Aho wins the face off now. Jarvis with the puck. Hurricane on the attack in the Ranger zone with the fire shot. That goes with an easy, easy save for Shesterkin. Passes over to Jimmy Vesey. Vesey over again to Miller. Miller to Moto and fire it out. Right around the net. Good draw. We'll give the puck here. Aho takes the puck away. Leaving it from in there. Oh, the tumble down right toward the blue line. That's like a, like a hurricane We're going for cyclone spin. That's like a barrel roll. They're always doing that like they did it before. Slavin will have the puck here right toward the right side of the wing and now entering in the Rangers territory in the attack zone. More fire shot. That goes with a slap save here by Shesterkin. Ago right towards the back. Jarvis with the puck. Stop it. Save by Shesterkin. He will hold the puck in with only 8.05 remaining. Trying to keep it alive to do it again. Now both teams are set, ready to take the face off here in an offensive zone with 8.05 remaining. Stahl wins the face off. Win the shot that turned wide and Trocek battling for the puck loose. Canarin to Lindgren over to Kane. Kane will lift it up. The Hurricanes keep their, keep their man advantage alive, and now Stahl will have it on their group to give it to Martinuk. Martinuk passes Stahl. That's off the skater. And scores! Jordan Stahl had 18 goals in this game. They are extending it 4-1. Well, it's not what everybody does. They really say that puck was very getting away. That getaway chasing over it, the storm is beating on New York. And they're damaging up very well because they've got all kinds of uh, aggressive uh, time on attacks. They were certain enough to get that right in there, but they didn't want to do that. Well, unfortunately for now, it will happen again. You can't let that get away from you. Slam across the board. Here's Panarin. 6.45 remaining. Trocek gives it over to Kane. Kane fires it around the net. Here's Sketchy will have it on the other side of offensive run. Terravining giving it over into the left wing. Moving around it and Panarin got a good stop. Got cut of me. And that went off and too much of an inbound. Lundgren. Fox takes it over right now. He gives it over to Panarin. Panarin with 5.50 remaining in the first, second period. Nikas takes the puck. Now moves it over into the other side of the zone. Now we'll have to try to find room. Just circling with their glove save. 5.30 left in the second period. It's about to get timed up and then ready for another faceoff coming up. Both teams are ready to take their faceoff from the draw. Carolina resumes the play with only under 5.30 to go. Noza gets crushed down right towards the board. Kako right into the neutral zone. In the attacking zone, Kako. He lost the puck. Got a spear. Oh, I think that little defenseman player that looks like that. He was going to be a tightness run. Philip Heedle on him. Lockbinder shot went off. 
That stopped again by Frederick Anderson. Well, they're all saying, because of right now, Filipino was trying to like make the attacker. He was aggressive on Goddess Fear, and that was very at roughness. All of this turned out to be a lot, a lot of a heavy movement for the New York Rangers and the Hurricanes. They were really trying to pick it up at the run. They never saw that coming. They were slowing it down, but they never really got there that fast. They were just trying to like get it out of here and go back on their own. They were really are starting to go with the aggressive drive. Losing into the neutral center, now into the wing. With the fire shot. Good catch by Sisterkin. 3 for 20 to go in the second period. It's still a 4 1 lead for Carolina. Now off to another faceoff. He's still getting a lot of tired on this offense run for the New York Rangers, but not for the Carolina Hurricanes. They got to start coming back in to get more. Terrence Seiko right in the middle. Fires it, and Anderson will have to leave it off for just a puck save to close the gap. Nearing closer to the mark of this period, Carolina's been a better team to make the next one win. 4 and one is the score. Now it will be Saul giving it to Slavic. Slavic over to Fast. He was fast right towards the end to the Ranger attack. Tarasenko takes the puck away. Now they will do it on their side of the team. Tarasenko passes to Banachak. Move around the middle. Anderson save again. Fast right toward it in the middle. Now going into the offense zone. Kreider gives it to Banachak. Now pass to Tarasenko. One on one opportunity. And a big save here by Anderson. All it does is come out, they just say that it is a one-timer to get that pass right, and that was why, where he came in. But it didn't really work for him. He better try to like find somebody else to try to like make him aggress out of it. Burns right towards the corner of the wall, and will just try to kick the puck over. Lindgren trying to take it out. Darren Senko gives it over again to Zibanejad. And that stick gets broken. And now that will change it up to get a new replacement. For to Benajad. Yeah, he didn't really like that fun puck on the stick. They were really saying they couldn't get that one right underneath to get it over with the inbound. Kane gives it over to Trocek. 40 seconds in the second period of the game. Trocek fires one. Anderson comes in with a save. He's going to hop here for the whistle. Right now it's just a 4-1 lead for Carolina. Looking for a win to put a shutout win over the New York Rangers in the series. Right now, Slavin has the puck. He's coming up here right across the corner. Carolina recovering the puck here as Svechikov. Didn't take the inbounding that he was. Now here's Miller. And right now, Trocek. Trocek passes. Panarin lost the puck and goes right toward the corner of the wing. And that will do for the second period. Carolina getting a close run to end the period here. It's 4-1, to one, Carolina. Be back for the third period. It's about that time. Welcome back to the Garden. We're about to finish Game 4. Win or go home. And the puck is dropped and we are all set for the final period of Game 4. It's been a disappointing effort for the New York Rangers that they've already been struggling with. A lot of heart to heart on the feed zones. They're trying to like lose it up with the string. Every team they're just trying to like keep it going. They really want to get some help. Well, in that case of it, honestly, no, they really are trying to like pull them from the gap. They really are saying we have a lot of a, a lot of aggressive in the players. They're very good, but they can't be losing their offense right on the other side because they were really are starting to get focused on their attention. The most speed really does happen. When nobody gets it around, they have to find somebody else. They were trying to get this done. And straight away from the cannon, right towards the back of it, they really are losing it all. With stall with a goal, and two for Stepan, that was definitely what they were going for. And now, this is it. This comes down to the final period, and we may not know if the Rangers can try to keep it going. We'll keep an eye on them just around the corner. Rangers and the Hurricanes are about to take the face off into the wing territory. 
Now Pat Patrochek takes a win. And Aaron Hex goes to fuck it in! Patrick Kane releases it and puts it right near the goalpost. That's a great beat. Thanks to Artemi Panarin, he had that assist down. That is why Patrick Kane releases it, hit it from the goalpost, and it went in. A great deflection score. They are down by two, and Panarin losses the puck. That gets right over, right toward the wing. Gets bumped down, and Miller passes over to Patrick Kane. 17 10 to go in the third period. They still have a lot of time to get it done. Trojek blocked the shot by Slavin. Trojek trying to move around it. The backhand was skipped out. And we got an injury timeout. Unfortunately, Trocek is out. Oh boy, this is a nightmare for Vincent Trocek. And this is bad. Unbelievable. This is really that bang dangerous. And right now, they're going to have to send him with a locker to give him his extension call. As the fans, give him a salute to Vincent Trocek. We will never forget you for the next part of the season. And right now, the play continues after an injury report here for the New York Rangers. It's Truba right towards the wing. The offense zone right in front of back. Now back in the other way to the Kane territory. Kane right into the zone with the middle shot. Releases the cannon out, but it stayed up. And that goes with another save. That gets right towards it on the outside of the zone. Now incoming in the wing. Moving around him, Jacob Truba takes up steal. Kane delivers it over to Artemi Panarin. And Aaron trying to give it over to Kane. Kane's blocked shot. And Snekis with the puck recovery. Snekis trying to move it over. Passes to Kalkenemy. That puck gets out of here. Karavainen passes to Pex. With a shot stopped by Shostorkin. 15 on 1 to go in the third period. They're trying to go back down by 2 to get it going. As right now, we have a report here for, for Nickel. As for Vincent Trocek, what do you have? Well, all right, I got I got an eyes on that one here. I did talk to one of the medical coaches that are responsible, but this all really has to happen. Well, unfortunately for Vincent Trocek, he really got made that one a splucer injury right towards it from the rib. So at that point, the head of being smashed right towards the helmet. And also, his elbow injury can be a lot that hard, and the challenge again is he couldn't try to get up. Unfortunately, he's not getting rid of tonight's game. And that will be it for the end of it. But he will gladly miss with his team. And that will be a tough one to be carried on. And as always, we'll see Trent Vincent Trojek does for the next new season. Back to you. Thank you, dear Nickel. There are a lot of battling motions out there. They're trying to get it out there quick. To manage out the Kreider. And shot stopped by Anderson with only 14.01 remaining in the third. Now with another releasement, ready to take her another face-off with just only 14.01 to go. Carolina up by two. They regroup the puck here and now Dehan will try to give it over to Fast. Fast try to move it across on the right wing. Just for Fast, looking for someone's help. Holds alive. Mario at the stall and Sister can save. Gives it back to Snyder to Zabanajan. Terrence Senko, no penalty call on Carolina. Marinuk got it across right towards the Rangers zone in the back. Terrence Senko tried to give a puck over to Snyder. Snyder back to Terrence Senko. Right towards with a 2 on 1 attack. Kreider. Kreider dishes over it again. Fired a shot. Cannon saved by Anderson. Got a good release out. And now he will stop the inbounding with only 2 12 37 remaining. Win for Hedo. Fox blocked the shot. Lindgren, Lindgren to, to Kako. And Dehan will try to give it over on the other side to Jarvis. Jarvis moving around. Weaving in the zone. That sticked it out of here for Igor Shosturkin. Svechikov back to Jarvis. Puck save. Gives it over to Hedo. Now back to Kako. Kako will try to go right into the wing of the territory. Right into the Kern King zone. Back to Ajo. 
Ajo's delivering it over to the offensive side. He goes right with the bank. Fox gives it over to Lafreniere. Try to squeeze it in. Pass to Kako. It's blocked. Well, that block shot really has to turn out. But it looks like one defender, Jacob Slavin, got a lockdown. And that was why he did come out with an extra help. He did really have it off to try to help him pay attention on him to keep it out. Terravine back to Ajo. Gets cornered up on the wall. Here's Guido, right towards for the other end. Passes to Lafreniere. Lafreniere! Regrounding the puck, Guido. And Anderson got a save right behind it, right near the skate. They'll try to hold it from here. Now here's another faceoff coming in. Just 10 13 to go. And Kalkinami wins the face up and Burns will try to give it over. Slavin, try to keep it out. Morty still recovers it. And Teravainen will try to keep it over in the deck. Teravainen moving around. Nekis with the rebound. That hits off the skater. Goes right toward the crease of the wall. Kalkinami lost the puck. Keandre Miller trying to kick the puck over. They're battling for the loose puck chain. Morty right into the center. He slips it out. Burns will try to take one over. Slavin moving in from the center of the zone, trying to go with the fast speed. Moving from the right wing. Trying to move it over. Good stop by Truba with the Slavin stop puck. The handling, the motion, it's very not tough. Though. They're trying to look at an open offense. They try to like close it out. The gap keeps coming. But they don't want that one to be out here like they never did it before. Chatsy right into the neutral face-off zone. Now we'll try to kick it over right in the center. Nosen with the shot and scores. That's his first goal in the game four. And right now the Hurricanes are ready to go to the conference finals for the first time. As you know that Nosen was able to give that one. Jacob Slavin dishes his off to Nosen. He got a great comfortable score to try to like keep it out of the range. The sight is being obvious, but not too long. He will get he'll get another set of release spin to try to leave, leave it up with the scores. Tate and Tate. The inbounding can be a lot that challenging to get in there. Anderson stop save. 7.29 remaining in the third period. They are just keeping it going. Lots of time for the left of this period. Hurricanes on a 5-2 lead over the Rangers. Chatsky wins the faceoff and Skeggy. Skeggy almost lost the puck. Gets Rummel down. Truba will try to give it over to Keandre Miller again to Hedl. Hedl right towards the wing. Pass to Panarin! Shot! Rebounded it up. Not a choice. Anderson! Man oh man! That is tough and tricky. Well, good play for Anderson. He was like already been showing it up. He just really couldn't believe that he got it right away. And we have a penalty call. That will be Patrick Kane in the penalty box. And his day is done. Not a very good sign out there to make a slash. They just can't get it to go. They are the ones, the team that could be out for the next one. Rangers adding another penalty kill. And now the Kings will have another power play to give advantage to in the third period. And Slavin gives it over to Goddard's here to Shetsukov. And they are going to get that one, a penalty call. And that will be a slash call on Lion Rindgren. Oh boy, they're in trouble now. That's going to happen again. They are affecting it and they are sprucing it. They just couldn't believe it. Rangers added another penalty kill, and now it'll be a five on three for Carolina. Now with the win, here's Ajo. Got his fear to Burns! Shot stop here by Shesterkin. Smetch a cop by Ajo, and scores! There you have it! Sebastian Ajo got a goal release bit and put an open deck. Yeah, they're all searching for Sebastian Ajo, but thanks for all of that. And even Smetchikov and Burns does that one. That assistant is putting up a lot of heart on the shot. That assistant run is going to be a tough one to be handling it again. 
and the Hurricanes are extending their lead a 6-2 run. Now Svetrikov, right into the middle, safe and bounding. And now a new change up for the, for the New York Rangers, it will be number 41, it will be Pollock that will be replacing for Igor Shosturkin. Zibanejad right over to Kreider. Avos got the puck, now into the other side of the sound. Miller takes it over. Pass to Kreider. One minute for the power play for the Hurricanes. Keeps it outside. Burns right toward the corner, now gets a goddess fear. Avos got the puck. Hurricane trying to make an attacking run, and Zibanejad will kind of give it off to Miller. Fires it around the goaltender. Burns will try to keep them from here. Nosen's got the puck right now again to Ajo. Under five minutes to go in the third period, and the time has already kept winding down. Looks like he's almost ready to come out. Ready to go. On their way down to the attacking zone. And the power plays over for the Hurricanes. Only one for a five-on-three advantage. They're only showing it off because they were really getting a lot of a good strength. Other teams could not be saying that they really have gotten a point, but they were really trying to focus up. They're trying to get it out. Pollock's going to hold the puck and with only 3.54, he will take his first save of the game. And the winner of the call, Sebastian Ajo. It's all that does turn out. Sebastian Ajo got a great eye in the advantage and got a power play goal. That will put it up here for the game winning of uh, the power play run, and their advantage for their team is keeping it out nice and steady. He's been on a roll. Jimmy Vesey to Goodrow. With the shot, stopped by Frederick Anderson, and now Ajo will take it from here. Jarvis with the puck. Looking for an advantage for the score. Jimmy Vesey gives it to Adam Fox. Fox shot! That backhand shot went up over the net. Goodrow to Vesey. Rebound in front! And it will not count it. Oh uh, yeah, I gotta say this one here. Let's look at the replay one more time. Yeah, look at this. Jimmy Beasy went right in it. And he was kicking the puck right at it. Goodrow was right in it. He was right near to crease it, and here are not gonna count it. Wow, a disappointing run here for the New York Rangers. And they are disliking the call. And this is why they don't really like the Hurricanes that much. To be clear, they're a really, really tough team. Bat Maddock again with the last postseason. They are starting to lose their inbound, and now the Hurricane is going to take over in the conference finals. Now he gives it over to Lindgren. Lindgren right towards it. Inbound. Lindgren. This out of the zone to Jimmy Vesey. Lindgren right towards the Snyder. Snyder right toward it, and stick lifted. Terravine and gets the puck. Terravine right towards the right wing. And Snyder will try to take the puck cleared out. Kane on the fast break. Try to read it up the mark, and it's blocked by Sketchy. Rebound by Guido. Hot save by Frederick Anderson. Bash and the team are trying to pull it out. And he calls it offside. Nearing down to the end of the period, the score is the Carolina 6-2 over New York Rangers. And coming up later tonight will be the Avalanche and Wilds back at Ball Arena. That will be the final game here happening at Game 4 for the doubleheader. And that will be the next one coming up in just a few moments. Right now standing by will be Jay and Greg along with, along with Killer. And that will be the next one coming in right on its way after the break. And it will be on at 9.30 p.m. only on Son of Beast. Make sure you watch now and subscribe to my channel. If you don't, somebody will. Galkanami right over to Taravainen. Their team will not be getting a goal as right now their team is advancing to the next round to take on the winning team in between Boston and Tampa. They're a very really good job out there. All they say now, Hurricanes are the one of the biggest team in the Metropolitan Division. They have already been doing it a lot much time that they were able to get. And just like that before, they are really showing it up like they did. Kane will give it over on the other side. Give him with the shot, love saved by Anderson. And he will get a first star player of the game. Because of this moment, he is on the roll. That fantastic run, it's never going to slow you down. 
21.2 seconds to go in the third period. Now he's a win. Burns will try to give it over. Back to Slavin. Over to Martineau. And they will have to do is just pass it and do it again. Martineau and a shot stopped by Hollick. Schneider finding a man opener and that will do it. The Hurricanes are moving on to the conference finals for the first time in this season. While you always know Frederick Anderson and the team, they are just showing it up like they mean it. They've been the better teams, they are the best, and they're looking for their next win to take over with the defending of the team and Atlantic Division. Well, as we mean right now, with all that being said, Son of Beast along with Test Tube and Nickel. This has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. Thank you so much for tuning with us, and we'll see you for the next game as Jay Grant will be standing by. Have a good night in the Big Apple, New York. All right, guys, thank you so much. And right now, the Hurricanes wins this series with a shutout score in the 4-0 series. And there's your final score. They've been crushing on the Shesterkin player and the New York Rangers. Now let's have a look at your three-star players in the game. The third star we start is Jordan Stahl. A goal and assist. Only did for once, but not for this time. He was just putting it right around it. Blocked that one, but he had to put in a rebound for Stahl. The second star goes to Derek Stepan with two goals and a hit. Only almost got three, but now we're long. Derek Stepan got a great rebound to take the tackle. And your first star player for the Kane goes to Frederick Anderson. 42 saves, and this is the best moment that Anderson has done. He's looking for their team to win the next Stanley Cup competition. In between, right between the two, since 2005 to 6th season of the postseason. Here's how they did with the total statistics. 56 shots on goal and 44 for New York Rangers. 23 and 13 for the Carolina and New York. 621 and 503 of the Carolina and New York. 32 faceoff wins over 19 of the New York Rangers. Power play was putting up for Carolina and they got a power play goal with only 205 remaining. And the penalty kill was four minutes for the Rangers. So that will wrap it up here for the first night of the of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs for the doubleheader. And for that moment, we will be keeping new eyes here for the next game. As right now, the Avs and Wilds are ready for the rematch. A win or go home for Minnesota. We'll find out how well they do, but it might be that tough to try to keep an eye on. And as for being said, peace out everyone for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports Style. If you're not joining us for the second second game, well, just watch it anytime right now. And, and if you miss that one, the recap is up. So at this moment, we'll see you all later here for the next game for the Avalanche and the Wilds. Until, until we get a break and get back into it. See you guys next time. If you don't... Somebody will.